What's good, YouTube? We are back. Like I said, I would be. All right, we are back for another camera and tech review. Welcome to my channel. I am Mario Devon. Once again, I'm here to give you reviews on things as far as cameras, tech, and some audio things that'll help you make your, you know, your, your project sound better. But we're here today with, once again, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. All right, and finally, we have something in the world. We've, we've been longing. We've been waiting for a while for this moment. Shout out to you. I have the case for the iPhone 11 Pro Max to mount moment lenses on it and we finally can get this review going. I've been waiting to do this one. We had been longing, we had been waiting, but we knew it would be worth it and moment you have delivered. So I'm gonna slide this over right here. People, this right here is the future. And the reason why I'm telling you that this is the future is because it's getting ridiculously convenient with these phones. Our smartphones have become ridiculously capable of creating craziness with our phones phones on the go. You don't always have to take your mirrorless camera, your DSLR to create now. You can just do it with your phone. They have become capable and Moment. Moment has been ahead of the game. They've been releasing products that actually assist us in increasing the quality of work that we can get out of our smartphones and that is ridiculous. So we're going to unbox this today. We're going to do a test. We're going to finally get footage. What we have today is the Moment case. I'm going to unbox this for you. All right, so let's talk about the case. I'm going to flip this over so you can see what we have what we have is the filmmaker case for the iphone 11 pro max all right so this is the case you can use to mount every moment lens on this every accessory on this lens this is my favorite case so what's in the bag what we have of course is the moment case let's turn it this way and what you will see is that the case already has texture on it all right, that's gonna be for the grip. As filmmakers, we like to make sure that we have a good hold on our cameras if we're shooting handheld especially. That's what we're gonna be doing most of the time with this, all right? You'll see that grip, the texture on it here. It's gonna feel better in the hands, better than most phone cases. What you'll also see, if you look closely, you'll see the holes, the ridges in which we'll use to actually mount the different moment lenses, all right? So you'll see this cutout here that's really wide open. The reason why that's wide open is because that's where the ultra wide lens is on the eye iPhone 11 Pro Max. Also, there's a flashlight. The lenses are not going to be mounted on that ultra wide, and that's because the ultra wide is so wide that you actually will get some vignetting, so we don't want that. But they do have the two holes where you can mount moment lenses over your standard wide and also your telephoto. When we flip it over, what you'll see is pretty much a picture that is actually a picture taken with a moment lens. And, and if I bring this a little closer, you know, up, and you should be able to see the social media handle of the person that actually shot this shot and you'll see the hashtag shot on moment all right so they always include that type of picture in here just to show you what the lenses are capable of on a smartphone so that's really cool I'm gonna move this out of the way so we're just gonna get this out of here we're gonna keep that you know as a souvenir all right so if you look closely you will see the filmmaker case emblem right there and the moment logo all right all right the moment you have all been waiting for we're gonna slide this over right here just a little bit okay what I'm about to show you is Transformers in a box this is Michael Bay in a box all right this is the moment anamorphic lens this is what we came here for this is this right here is the grand finale this is the big boss all right I've been wanting to test this thing out for a long time on different phones I wanted to test that on the iPhone 10 but I ended up getting the iPhone 11 and then I didn't of course have a case until moment sent the case so let's see what's in the box so what's in the box the first thing you'll see is another picture all right so we're gonna bring this picture up so you can see it this shot was actually taken with this anamorphic lens you can actually see that kind of the, the bars the movie bars over this actual shot was taken with this anamorphic lens that's in the box this is the grand finale what you've been waiting on the moment anamorphic lens i'm gonna let you know this thing is it's a lens you gotta treat it like a lens this is a lens you, you know be careful all right you gotta be careful you gotta treat this you gotta, you gotta be gentle. It's a lens. It's a, you gotta be gentle, all right? This thing has a crazy element. This is an all metal build. What you will see is the 1.33 times crop. All right, we spoke about that. See it here. 
you know, right in front of you, all right? You see that, that front element? This is a really cool thing. These are all cool. Any lenses that I have for moment, they are all cool. The next thing you have is actually the cap, the lens cap for the lens, all right? If you look closely, you'll see the moment labeling, the logo on there. The branding is always on point. I'm just gonna put that right there, all right? Next thing we have is actually something that I think comes with every moment lens, the microfiber bag, so you can actually keep your lens protected, keep your things protected, so that's really cool lastly we have the guide the moment anamorphic guide as far as the alignment and how you use this thing it says read before using so this is essential i'm going to make sure i don't lose that all right i'm going to make sure i don't okay i'm kidding all right i just i just got it back all right i may need that all right so i'm gonna put this over here instead i won't do that no more i'm sorry about that oh since we're talking about consistency let me show you something all right so this this here is the moment telephoto all right you look closely this is the 58 millimeter telephoto lens as you can see it comes with that microfiber bag i was telling you about just the same way as the anamorphic did the telephoto every lens comes packaged this way the quality is consistent across the board so i'm gonna take this out you remember the lens cap this is the lens cap this is the lens cap you'll pop that off and again this is the telephoto this is the 58 millimeter telephoto you'll see that listen i'm I'm gonna stay on track. I'm just trying to show you the consistency. I'm just trying to show you why it was worth the wait, the wait on moment to do that thing. All right, so you know, I'm just trying to show you. I'm just trying to show you how they, they do it, all right? And I appreciate it. I appreciate the consistency. I appreciate the quality. All right, so I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way and I'm gonna actually put the case on the phone, all right? So it's the same way you've done everything. You put a case on before, all right? You just, you know, you just slide it on, all right? Just slide it on. It should just pop on and you hear that, that satisfying click, all right? So there you go it's on there fits perfectly i am so excited it went on there like it was nothing and it feels really good in the hands because that's i guess just where it needs to feel good in your life in the hands so mounting the case is actually pretty easy. What you'll do is you'll look at those ridges there. And what you'll do from there, I'm gonna put this here. You see that line. What you wanna do is try to line those up. It should be very easy. And what you'll do, you'll turn. It is a hard turn. And really what that says is this secure on your phone, on your case. If you look closely, you'll see the little dot. That little dot here is pretty much like lenses that you put on cameras. It's indicating that you got this in the right spot. Hopefully you can see the hard work they put in all right, to give us Michael Bay in our phones, to give us transformers in our phones. So quickly, before we test this out, let's talk about anamorphic lenses, all right? The whole point is to get two things. One, it actually squeezes the image, all right? It squeezes the image in of your video. And what happens is when you actually take it into post and when you're editing, you're gonna bring that image back out. What it does, it automatically creates the widescreen bars that we want, while also making sure we get that full resolution of what we capture. Number two thing with an anamorphic lens is the lens flares. You get the most unique lens flares hopefully you will see some of the footage that i have up that you you'll see some of the lens flares that you can create especially at nighttime so hopefully you get a, a quick understanding on what is the point of the anamorphic lens Another cool thing that Moment has done, and I think you can use this, whether you have Moment lenses or not, is they created an app, all right? You can get this in the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store. With those apps, you can dial in your settings. What you can do is you can dial in your shutter speed, your ISO, exposure compensation, your color balance, your, your focus. You can do everything. You can pretty much turn your, your camera phone into a regular camera, all right? So you can also control your color profile. So you can shoot it really flat. You can shoot the standard iPhone colors. You can also shoot at a, in a log profile. You, you, you've heard of log profile, all right? So you can shoot, do whatever you want. You can shoot 4K. You can shoot crazy levels of frame rates all the way up to 240 frames in some of these cases, all right? Remember, get the app. That is going to be the best way you can get the most out of these moment lenses. So when you're ready to use your lens, make sure you actually change those settings to anamorphic, all right? So they actually have settings for every single lens that they have out. And every time they come out with new lenses, they make sure they add those lenses into settings so you can apply that setting per the lens that you have. All right, so let's take this thing out to the field. Let's take this moment anamorphic lens out to the field with the iPhone 11 Pro Max in the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. And let's see what it can do. So I'll see you in a second. Whew. All right, we are back. This right here is Raina. I will be working on, we will be doing the footage with her today. She's just gonna walk around. We're gonna shoot some photos, but I figured that we, you know, we, we do it this way today uh, in the middle of Nashville in the Gulch. Most people here don't vlog. 
So it's gonna be weird. So if people look at us crazy, you know, they look at you it's crazy. It's because we are crazy. Yeah. Well, at least she knows the <laughs> truth. But either way, I will have her social media somewhere on the screen. Give her a follow. I'll put it in the link. Not the link, but in the bio and all that stuff. But uh, I'm going to show you how I set up the moment lens with everything on the go. And uh, let's get some footage. Uh, yeah, we're going to take this off. I'm going to put this in here and from there. I'm going to put this on. Wow. All right. Boom. The moment anamorphic. Is it in focus? No, no. How do... So there, touch the screen. Did it, did it do it? It's in focus. All right, cool. So, boom, there you go. So we're going to put this on, line it up perfectly. Boom. All right, that easy. Bring out the DJI Osmo phone gimbal. We're going to rip this out. I will do a review on this too. This is really easy to balance. Almost there. Still not there. Oh. Never mind, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> Today, I'm terrible at this. Cool, so now I'm gonna turn it this way and make sure it's balanced here. The way you do that is gonna be here. You can actually move this side to side. Literally, once you balance it, all you have to do is turn it on. Once you turn it on, you will see it pretty much goes into gimbal mode. Another thing you can do, you can double tap the trigger to get it back centered. From there, you can double tap this button here and it'll go into the landscape cinematic mode. So we're gonna get some footage today. We're gonna get some footage today. Hope you like it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see what this thing can do. So hopefully you like the footage that we got here. I'm gonna edit it, we're gonna upload it. Uh, once again, that's Raina, give her a follow. Yes. All right, thank y'all so much and uh, I will see you all back in the studio to talk more about this. I will be shooting with this again at night. I'm, I hope to show you what the lens flares look like at night for the night shoot, but uh, I will see y'all in, uh, in, a, in a bit, all right? Peace out. All right, we are out here tonight, night shooting. We're gonna be reviewing Two things at once tonight. One, the Moment anamorphic lens. Two, the Sony a7 III for night photography and videography. Right there, that's my guy Moses. What up? All right, cool. So we're gonna be working together, collaborating tonight for this night shoot. So hopefully we can get some good footage for you. What's up guys, it's Peter McKinnon and Mario Devon. And tonight oh we're talking about anamorphic lenses. <laughs> All right, we are ma making our way downtown. Well, I'm getting that. Nah, 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 oh, man. Nah, 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 nah. All right, cool. But yeah, Moses is walking really fast, getting across the street uh, so we don't die downtown Nashville. So hopefully the footage is not too shaky. Really, what I think this does is justifies my spending on the potential 15 to 35 millimeter image stabilized lens for the Canon RF, but we'll see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah, we good. All right, so we are back in the studio. What I realized is that vlogging at night is just, is difficult. So we're back in the studio. I even made sure I did laundry to make sure I had the same shirt on that I did in the previous shot, and that's called storytelling. It's called continuity, all right? So there you go, you're welcome. Just taught you something new. But back to this moment anamorphic lens in this moment case. Went out last night, got some dope shots with this anamorphic lens, but 
this moment case and I will say having an anamorphic lens is fun wish I had one for my real camera actually there is an anamorphic lens that has come out for the Sony APS-C cameras but you know I don't we'll go through that when the time comes sorry for how shaky the footage is I was actually downtown Nashville Tennessee on a very very live night so a lot of bumping a lot of just uh, it was it was wild all right but I just try to make sure to get you some footage of these flares and just different things you can get out of an anamorphic lens but if you've seen my previous videos you'll know very real and very transparent about products so let's go through some of the things about the products first thing you need to see you have to take this case off from the bottom all right you have to take it off from the bottom if you don't take it off from the bottom you will break the case as I have already done all right I'm just being very frank with you I'm gonna show you where the crack is in the case it's actually right where you would actually have the lens all right so let me bring it closer up here and, and don't you dare in the comments talk about you know are you just too strong and I don't want to hear that all right I, had to, I barely pulled on the case and that's okay this case is not meant to protect your phone it's literally here just for you to mount the cameras onto your phone that, that's it that's the whole purpose of this so it's not going to protect your phone and, and that's one of the cons I think I'm gonna have to list on it is because if I'm going to be out with this thing in the field I would like to have a case that actually protects my phone I could drop it I, I just want it to be safe the filmmakers case is not for that it's very thin and as you see it, it can easily be broken that's that's a con on that one but I also wouldn't be too hard on it. And the reason why is because you have to understand purpose. The moment, it's still a great case. It still does the job. It still works, even with that little crack. It still mounts on, no problems there. I can show you really quickly. Put it on there and you just, boom, you snap it on. So it still goes on very securely. We have no issues there. Another thing is I would recommend the moment ND filters. And the reason why is we wanna be able to dial in those settings exactly how we want, especially for motion blur. And I'm really referring to the shutter speed. You can dial it in with a moment app at 140 but that is a very low shutter speed meaning you're gonna bring in a lot of light if you feel okay and comfortable with buying this many accessories for your smartphone I would recommend you get the ND filter to go with this moment lens just to make sure you can dial in those settings and get the look that you want again sorry for the shaky footage just try to get some footage I risked my life for you I jumped in front of some cars I was doing all kinds of stuff out there I was looking like an action movie out there slow-mo just jumping all over the place but I did this for you because I care about you and because I love you all right, I sacrificed my life, put my life out there. Overall, I'm loving the vibes that we're getting from these companies that are helping us create with smartphones. I, I have pictures and old video from phones of the past and I don't even, what, what were we doing? Like I'm looking at, this is how we were living. This is this is how we were doing. We didn't know that phones would get this crazy, but apparently Moment did and, and they were ready. They were ready to have a product roll out, many products, okay? So I'd recommend that products I'll be buying and hopefully if, if things go well, <laughs> hey now, hey, if things go well, they'll send us some stuff. Keep, you know, keep helping your brother out. Keep on helping me y'all i appreciate y'all so last thing i want to say y'all are bananas all right i don't this is not part of y'all are crazy thank you all right thank you for for the right now i'm at 60 subscribers i know it's not a lot but i'm counting that victory and, and i thank you for all the likes and comments you've given me on different things y'all are wild y'all are crazy and i love you all thank you for the subscriptions thank you for all the comments if you have any questions in this video comments down below if you want to have some more talks you know i like talking to y'all obviously I try to get back to all of you i love talking to you already and i uh, thank you so much make sure you like comment subscribe all those things and i will be sure to give you more of that to come so thank you peeps and i will see you on the next one uh peace out i guess we'll, we'll, we'll do we'll do this Anyway, bye, bye y'all. See y'all. Bye. Oh, by the way, I'm glad that I um I, I didn't throw these away for real. The directions. All right. So uh, there, you're gonna need these. You're gonna actually need these. All right, to actually adjust the lens. So um 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 yeah. Don't just dis disregard what I said before when I threw it away. Just just up. Uh, yep. Yeah, got it. Cool. Good.